Hey, it's Mark with Mark's Virtual Real Estate Channel. We're back with another Upland video. And today we're talking about nodes again and what we should do to help the nodes grow. So I'm looking for ideas from viewers and what other nodes are doing, what we could do, but still keep it a lazy node. So by lazy node, we mean we're not going crazy. We're not gonna have you know a 10 person team or anything with different roles in a pay role or anything like that. But I think we can do a few more things with the nodes and just curious what people think, what we could do that would be fairly simple, but maybe add a little bit more fun to the nodes. All right, of course we have the likes, shares, comments, keep all those coming. I also have a real real estate channel, Mark Ferguson, Invest for More. Goes through a lot of my flips, rentals, all those cool things. We bought a couple new properties recently, if you haven't seen those. And um, I've got a really crazy property where the roof collapsed last year, where we rebuilt a lot of the roof, which is really surprising how nice it is. And you might think it's weird, I'm surprised about how nice the property is. Well, it's an hour away from me. I don't get out there very much. I have so many projects going on that I hadn't seen it for a long time. So I went out there this weekend actually because my daughter had a gymnastics uh, meet and we saw the property and it's like, holy cow, that's cool. So anyway, um, back to Upland. Upland is a virtual real estate game. You can buy lots that are the same size as in real life. I think it's really fun. You can build properties, collect rent, flip them, all kinds of cool stuff. And within that you have different neighborhoods in different collections, all kinds of fun things. And the cool thing about nodes, and basically a node is when a group of players within Upland decide, hey, we're gonna start focusing on this neighborhood or these streets or this area. And they buy properties, they build properties, they kind of try and build their own community. And it's happened all over in different cities. And it's been a lot of fun. So I call them lazy nodes because I basically started a couple nodes and just said, hey, all I'm going to do is buy properties and build on them and tell people about them. And it's done fairly well. So this is Neponzant in Queens, which is one of the, the most recent node. And you can see all the blue circles are my properties that I've bought. And I keep buying properties here. And I think the very first property I ever bought here was this one. And you can see I'm building. And um, I'll just show you how far along we are. First off, people can help you build. So Spark is how you build. You need to, um, you can buy Spark or earn Spark through treasure hunting or different activities. And all of these people are helping me by dedicating Spark. So thank you so much to all of you who are doing that. And we're only four days away now. And you might see I'm contributing more Spark here too. And um, what happened was I have like 3.5 Spark, somewhere around there. And I had it spread out between three properties. Um, this one here, and uh-oh, did we just freeze up? I think so. Hopefully it unfreezes here soon. Um, this one here, another one in Neponset, another one in Detroit. And there we go. <laughs> um, I kind of had them equally started, but I took all the spark off this one so I could finish this one. Once this one's done, I'll put all the spark back on this one. I just like to see one get finished here quicker. And you can see a ranch home was finished here. So thank you, no, no chick. Sorry, I don't <laughs> know the exact way to pronounce everyone's name on here. Um, there's more properties being built up here. So pretty cool to see. And then the other interesting thing is, you know, I talked about making offers on properties. We have done that on a few of them, got them accepted. And we can see what prices are doing. So um, that's Detroit. We'll go to Queens here. One of the cool things is when you start a node and do this, you can often see the prices increase, the floor rise with increased demand. And we picked Neponzant because it was a small node, didn't have that many properties for sale. Right now there's 76 and our floor is about 34.5. The floor was around 27 when I started it. So it's gone higher, but I think we got up to like 47 for a while and then it dropped back down again. So there's pros and cons to that, right? It'd be nice to see the prices keep rising and rising, but when they stay low like this, it gives an opportunity for more people to jump in and buy. And it gives an opportunity for me to jump in and buy more properties as well too. So um, I'm always trying to buy more properties, just like this one right here. You know, I might come in here and make an offer right now and see what we can do. There's anything I can buy around the low 30s and that you can build on, that's big enough to build on. Um, I'm happy buying. So we'll see if they'll let me make a 31, nope. Maybe it's not, is this the same one I tried to offer on before? It might be. All right, we can't offer too much lower. So we'll go to this one. This one also has a lower price and you can build on it and we'll see if they'll accept a low one. So while I'm doing this though, the main point of this 
video is to see should we do more with these notes before just um, buying properties and building on them? Should we, I mean, for instance, almost all the other nodes have, nope, oh, well, that's not a good opportunity either. Um, almost all the other nodes have a Discord channel. I don't have a Discord channel. I have not even started one. I never even looked into what I do. I think it would probably be fairly simple, but should we do that? And if we do do that, does anybody want to help with it? I am happy to post on there. I can't promise I'll be there all the time nonstop, but I'll be happy to post, comment, share things on there. So that's an idea. Or do we just keep commenting on YouTube and do that? Um, so there's all kinds of things we can do on Discord if we decide to do that. Or should we do something else? Apparently nobody wants to take any low offers here. So this isn't working out as well as I thought. But <laughs> we still have, these are all different people. We still have some different options. Neponza, that one's small. See, that one's really small, so I don't know if I want to do that one. We'll try. Is that the one who was just building? Let me see. And I apologize if I should know who you are and I don't recognize your name. I am just horrible with names. I don't think that was a different person. Um, yeah, that's weird. Very similar, but different. So I do recognize a lot of you when you comment on my channel and when I see your properties on here, but then sometimes your, uh, not Newport, that was the Ponson, right? Oh no, it is Newport, okay. Um, sometimes your names are different than on the game too, and so uh, I don't always put two and two together. So just realize I have a hard time remembering my own name. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> okay, this is just not working, apparently. Jeez, maybe something's going on here and I'm doing it wrong. But, all right, I guess we're gonna skip that for now. So, you can see what the floor is. You can see how things are going into Ponzant. I think they're going well. Now, let's take a look at Henry Ford real quick and see how things are going in Detroit. This is the first node I started, Lazy Node. I also kinda was doing Eight Mile, and I still have a ton of properties on Eight Mile. I just haven't been focusing on it as much because it's kinda hard to focus on three different nodes at once and keep buying properties on all those at once. So you can see I have a lot of properties here still. And then we can also see what the uh, price is though, but I'm curious to see what eight mile prices might be because I haven't been talking about it much. And I feel like whenever that happens, they drop down again. So you can see there's a 110 for sale and yeah, down to 14. So it's still higher than when we um, first started, but you can see there's a couple of low ones and actually you know, if those two sold, the floor would be fairly high still. So that floor is definitely higher than when we started. But again, I'm not pushing it like I have been the other ones. All right, let's take a look at Henry Ford and see how it's doing. This is really, I just like Henry Ford for some reason. 21. All right, so we've been, we started at seven got up to 10 to 12 to 14 to 17 to 20. I think we're at 24, maybe even a little higher there for a little bit last week. And we've had a few properties just drop down into the low twenties, but let's see uh, how big this one is. And I keep buying them because I really like Henry Ford and it's just a cool name, small neighborhood. Oh, it's so skinny. You can see I bought this other really skinny one. I don't think there's, Anyway, it's kind of nice. I can show you right here that you can build a property here. Um, I don't think I have enough spark. Ugh. Anyway, I don't feel like, well, there you can see that's a small townhouse, right? It's not going to fit on that. So I bought this one just because it's really cheap to raise the floor. I don't know if I want to buy another really super skinny one or not. So we might just let that one sit. There's a reason why it's so cheap, I guess. But here you can see Henry Ford looks great. We've got all kinds of properties being finished coming up. So it's doing well. We've got three in a row right here. So I think once this one finishes, and again, this one has a little bit longer to go than the others, 14 days. Um, we still have people contributing. Thank you so much again for that. And if anybody else wants to keep contributing, love that. So it'd be cool to get some rows of properties. So we've got a couple here, one finished here. If someone, whoever owns that one, if you want to start building, that'd be awesome and have some rows there. It'd be really cool to just have this whole row right across from the hospital here. 
kind of done. But then we also have this row right here. And I, I might want to build right here, just have four in a row. We've got a couple more here. Just be cool to start filling up these entire streets with builds. So awesome to see that. Like I said, I keep building or buying more lots here as they come up and are affordable to increase my, my properties here. I've got a lot in the Henry Ford area. So that's been a really fun project. And again, you know, we could do like the Invest for More Discord where we talk about um, our lazy nodes and different things. Heck, I might even talk about real estate on there. Um, that might be something that might be pretty cool, actually. So um, there's some ideas. Or if you guys have other ideas on what we could do on these nodes, let me know. Or, I mean, I mean, just thinking out loud right now, I mean, if we do an Invest for More Discord, and I can help people learn about real estate in real life, it might be a really cool segment from virtual real estate to real real estate, and I can point you towards... I have so many resources that are free, like my blog, investformore.com has hundreds of free articles, a free book on there. My YouTube has hundreds of free videos. And um, that might be something pretty cool though, actually, as I'm thinking about it right now. So let me know what everyone thinks, what ideas you have. Maybe we'll start a Discord channel and um, we can go from there. I feel like it's kind of crazy because I'm definitely not you know, a young buck anymore. And I'm getting pretty immersed in the virtual real estate world and now Discord and all kinds of different things. Um, so it's been fun though. So I like to keep an open mind and open ideas about different things. <laughs> all right, thanks for watching. Love your support as always. Love seeing the comments, love seeing the shares and likes. And um, we'll be back with more videos coming up here soon.